Hail and well met, my good fellow. Lionel greets you most heartily. Ah, Clara spoke of you. Lionel, you say? The very same, and in a position of privilege for which he is most grateful. A privilege that he would be most happy to share with the consortium, that it might prove to our mutual benefit. Oh, a fellow man with an eye for profit, I see. What privilege have you brought me today? A worldly fellow such as yourself has doubtless heard rumors of Hyzant's clandestine research projects, yet... Yeah. Indeed I have. Developing weapons of devastating power, unlocking the secrets of eternal life. What if Lionel were to tell you that Hyzant has in fact created an elixir that offers everlasting youth? I would be intrigued, and then I'd ask you how you could possibly know such a thing. It's a simple matter of logic. Think. Why would Hyzant hide the existence of so wondrous a panacea? Hmm. I suppose they'd want to keep such power to them and theirs. Just so. The only thing kings and nobles covet more than salt is life itself. My lord is no exception. What are you saying? that those you serve have procured this miracle drug. Lionel has found himself welcome within nobility's most inner circles, he is proud to say. And he also finds himself in possession of a certain medicine, a medicine he would be happy to part with a share of for the right price. A price I'd be more than willing to pay for such an incredible elixir. Do tell me, what exactly does it do? What doesn't it do? Its imbiber is blessed with unyielding vigor, unflagging stamina, and unmitigated vitality. Demand has proven so overwhelming that Lionel cannot hope to deliver the goods all on his own. He would be willing to share his profits with the right partner, however. If you've won the noble's trust, then I see no reason to hesitate in helping you take some of their coin. Very well. Let me see the goods. <laughs> that makes ten who put their lust for coin before their capacity for reason. This is almost too easy. With a few rumors and a respected name at his disposal, Lionel could sell these gullible fools their own shoes. <laughs> They're welcome to help themselves to this purgative. And if one or two of them is remarkably long-lived, then all... And are you content to make your fortune on the backs of fools? Oh, you! How long have you been there? Since the morning, on Benedict's orders. Hmm. Your overseer is too kind. However, you may return and inform him that Lionel needs no protection. His work to bring fortune to House Walfort requires the utmost concentration, and the presence of others can prove an unnecessary distraction. That should do it. You should be able to use that arm just fine in no time. Many thanks, lad. You truly are a talented one. My apologies for treating you like an intruder the other day. Think nothing of it, my good man. If you need anything else, I'm more than happy to help. Your magic. Grand Dante, there's something I've been meaning to ask you, Narv. Ask away. I was in high. No doubt you know it. Their library contains everything from records of magically enhanced soldiers to technical tomes and much, much more. 
Their chronicles on the history of magic, too, were the most comprehensive in our realm. And yet, I do not recall seeing even a single mention of a mage named Grandante. One would think the achievements of such a powerful sorcerer would be recorded somewhere. Why are they not? Those awful Hyzantians. Truly, they have no shame. Narv? The chronicles you speak of? In truth, they were written by my grandfather's own hand. What? what But then why is he not credited by name? He refused to do the research the former Hierophant ordered of him, and was branded a heretic and unbeliever. They erased his name and achievements from the records, and made it like he never existed at all. He was then banished from the city and died in exile, his name all but forgotten. It's all their fault. No one knows of the Archmage Grandante. I... These robes I wear were once his. They're the only remaining proof that he once walked this realm. So you carry his memory with you everywhere you go. I promised myself I would make the Archmage Grandante's name known around the world. So I'm going to work harder than I've ever worked before. Until all in the realm know his story. And in the process... I'll become the greatest mage this world has ever seen. That's the spirit. Thanks, Gila. Just you watch, Grandfather. I'm going to make you proud. Yet another problem has arisen, as we anticipated. I would like to ask everyone what they think. Benedict, if you would. Yes, my lord. We have just received a request from Minister Sorsley. We are to deliver his cargo to Asfrost. Cargo? A load of salt that bypasses the consortium. He is asking us to be an accomplice to his illegal dealings. The nerve of him! Asking the Honorable House Wolfort to do such a filthy job. No way we'd agree to that. But consider this. Agreeing would secure us proof of his unlawful business. Are you suggesting we report him to Hyzant? I am saying it is an option. You got a point. We have a duty to speak up when something's not right. That's the honorable thing to do. We might even earn the Holy One's trust. Have you all forgotten? Minister Sorsley is one of Hyzan's saintly seven. His connections run far deeper than ours. We must tread carefully. Then we need solid evidence to convict him. I should think the salt he wishes us to transport would suffice. But we are the only ones that know it. And it is indistinguishable from the salt that is legally distributed. Far from the solid evidence we need. Regrettably so. One false move and we lose both Minister Sorsley's support and Hyzant's trust. Without proof, we have no choice but to go to Esfrost. If only we had evidence of his misdeeds. It comes as no surprise to see our opinions differ. But a decision must be made. To report Minister Sorsley's illegal dealings to Hyzant, or become a silent accomplice. Bring the scales. It is time to make our choice. Sarah Noah.
Serenoa. Serenoa. Still. Moreover. I suppose. What do you need? Possibly. I... But... Then... Good point. Lord Saranoa. Even so... It is time to cast our votes. Do we follow Sorcelay's orders and smuggle salt across our borders, or do we take another path? Approach the Scales of Conviction with your token at the ready. I stand by my decision. I agree wholeheartedly. I agree. I have faith in you. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. forward is decided. We march to Hyzant and expose the Minister's illicit dealings.
We have chosen our path. We shall head to Hyzant and alert them of Minister Sorcelay's wrongdoings. Now that we have a heading, we need only move forward. Let us make haste. Indeed. No matter how perilous the road ahead may be, we must not falter. Anna, begin the preparations. Yes, sir. <laughs>